One thing the Germans always complain about is the reliability of their trains. But they can't complain about the reliability of the clocks in train stations. And the reason for that is just a few miles from my home. Now this is the transmitter array at Meinflingen near Frankfurt and one of those transmitters is DCF77 and it transmits a time signal that's used to synchronize the radio controlled clocks in most of Western Europe. DCF77 is accurate to within 100 microseconds and German station clocks are synchronized to it and yet these clocks do a very strange thing because the second hand pauses for a second or two when it gets to the top. It's sometimes believed that this is to ensure that trains can officially depart on time, but this is actually not quite true. This form of clock was invented in Switzerland, surprise surprise, in 1944, about 15 years before DCF77 started transmitting. Originally the clocks were synchronized to a central clock which sent a signal every minute. A second hand was actually added a few years later but it was driven by a simple motor. However, because the mains frequency at the time was so unreliable, it didn't always move at a constant speed. So instead, it was set to move slightly too fast, completing a circuit in a little bit less than one minute. A simple mechanism then held the second hand there until the signal arrived to advance the minute hand and release the second hand. That way, everything stayed in sync. This is the design that was copied by rail operators in several countries, including Germany. And though it is now technically possible to have the station clocks tell the exact time, the traditional pause has been kept for no particular reason. In Switzerland, trains are always timetabled to leave at the exact start of the minute. So it is true that the train guard would use the second hand to time the departure. The pause, though, was necessary for technical reasons. In Germany, timetables are internally calculated to within one-tenth of a minute, but public timetables don't show fractions of a minute, and so a train can leave up to 54 seconds after its advertised departure time and still be punctual. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel. You can also follow my blog and follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. You'll find links on my website. And if you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. Now I can post a poll on my Google Plus page. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to ask two questions.